Jean Simmons was a Golden Globe winning actress who took the world by storm with her post-World War II films. In the early 80s, the shy actress had become depressed because she couldn't find any good roles and subsequently turned to alcohol. In this video, we're going to see how she rose to stardom and managed to find quality roles even in the final years of her career. Early years, Daddy Wouldn't Buy Me a Bow Wow Jean Simmons was born Jean Marilyn Simmons on 31 January 1929 in London to Charles Simmons and Winifred Ada. Her father, Charles, would a bronze medal in gymnastics at the 1912 Summer Olympics. When World War II began, Simmons moved to Somerset with her family, where her father worked as a physical education teacher at Sidcott School. Simmons became a dancer at the age of 14 and would often sing the popular English song Daddy Wouldn't Buy Me a Bow Wow with her oldest sister on stage. During her teenage years, she had dreams of becoming an acrobatic dancer. The universe had different plans for her. Enrolling at a dance school and film debut. Simmons and her family returned to London at the end of World War II, and Simmons enrolled at the Ada Foster School of Dance in 1944. While studying at the school, she caught the eye of the English director Val Guest. Guest cast her in the 1944 film Give Us the Moon, which also starred Margaret Lockwood, one of the most popular English actresses of the 30s and 40s. Simmons performed in a series of minor roles in the 40s, and she also starred as a harpist in the film Caesar and Cleopatra alongside her future husband, Stuart Granger. The producer of the film knew that there was something special about the young actress, so he gave her a seven-year contract. Great Expectations and Hamlet In 1946, the budding actress was cast as Estella in David Leem's film adaptation of the novel Great Expectations. It became the third most popular film at the British box office in 1947, and it's still considered one of the best English films ever made. Simmons was only 17 at the time, and acting for her had mostly been just fun and games. But she realized that acting in Great Expectations had influenced her outlook on acting as a profession more strongly than she had anticipated. She said, I thought acting was just a lark. Meeting all those exciting movie stars and getting five pounds a day, which was lovely because we needed the money. It was working with David Lean that convinced me to go on. The next few films she made were not as successful. It was the 1948 film Hamlet that helped her to win her first Academy Award nomination. She starred as Ophelia in the film, and thanks to great expectations, she had already become a big international star. Laurence Olivier, the creator of the film Hamlet, offered Simmons to study at the Bristol Old Vic to improve her skills. She refused and instead decided to do what every other actress was doing at the time, move to Hollywood, marrying Stuart Granger and feud with Howard Hughes. Simmons starred with Granger in the 1949 film Adam and Evelyn. They fell in love with each other during the shooting of the film and married in 1950 when Simmons was 20. Around this time, Simmons was voted the fourth most popular actress in Britain. Simmons and Granger moved to Hollywood together and became U.S. citizens in 1956. Granger had already been working with MGM, and Simmons soon signed a contract with RKO Pictures, which was owned by the film industry giant Howard Hughes. Hughes was romantically interested in Simmons, but Granger made it clear to him that his wife wasn't interested. He phoned Hughes and told him, Mr. Howard Bloody Hughes, you'll be sorry if you don't leave my wife alone. This angered Hughes, and he instructed film director Otto Priminger who was working on a film with Simmons to treat the actress as roughly as possible. Priminger made Simmons' co-star slap the actress repeatedly, but after a while, it became too much for the actor, and he ended up punching Priminger. The feud between Hughes and the Grangers didn't end there. Film director William Wyler was interested in casting Simmons as the lead actress in one of his films, but Hughes refused to lend the actress to Wyler. The film was Roman Holiday, and it turned Audrey Hepburn into a star. Hughes and Simmons were involved in a court case which resulted in her being allowed to end her contract in 1952. She was required to do one more film for Hughes, but she wouldn't receive any money for it. The last film she did with RKO was a failure. Her Second Marriage and Alcoholism Simmons starred in lots of successful and popular films in the 50s. She and Granger moved back to England in 1955 to star in the film Footsteps in the Fog, 
Simmons also starred alongside Marlon Brando in Guys and Dolls in a role that was originally meant for Grace Kelly. The film was a huge hit. In 1960, Simmons and Granger divorced. She starred in a film that was directed by Richard Brooks, who became her second husband. Both men were older than her, which led many people to believe that Simmons might have been looking for a father figure since her actual father had died when she was 16. She said, They were really nothing like my father at all. My father was a gentle, soft-spoken man. My husbands were both much noisier and much more opinionated. It's really nothing to do with their age. It's to do with what's there, the twinkle and sense of humor. Simmons won her second Academy Award nomination in 1968 for her role as an alcoholic wife in The Happy Ending. Her husband, Brooks, who directed The Happy Ending, later said that he wrote the film to tell Simmons that she had an alcohol problem. Brooks was an incredibly workaholic person, and Simmons had become addicted to alcohol, because of which their marriage ended in 1980. In the 80s, Simmons had become increasingly dependent on alcohol, as she became depressed because she was unable to find the roles that she wanted. In a 1988 interview, she said she had accepted the fact that it becomes difficult to find good roles as you get older because there are younger, more beautiful girls right behind you. She bounced back and starred in a series of successful films and TV shows, reappearing in a remake of Great Expectations and starring alongside Anthony Hopkins in The Donnie. She even appeared in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, and in 2004, she voiced the lead character of the popular anime Howl's Moving Castle, Death. Simmons never remarried after divorcing Brooks, She lived in Santa Monica, California with her dog and two cats. On January 22, 2010, nine days before her 81st birthday, she died of lung cancer. In one interview, she said she was surprised at the fact that she had managed to achieve so much. She said if she hadn't enrolled at dancing school, she probably would have just ended up living a normal life like her mother. Instead, she became one of the most popular stars of all time. So what's your favorite Gene Simmons film? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you press the subscribe button.